he is one of your first clients you talk about. How did you infiltrate that conversation? Maybe he's on the massage table. I just want to be a fly on the wall for a sec. You trying to be like, hey, like we could do this thing on the side too. I'm pretty good uh, with fitness as well. Like you throwing winks in there. Like what, what's that conversation like to first uh, break the ice with some of the athletes? Anthony, by the way, you you you've got a good career coming up in broadcasting. <laughs> when when wrestling's all done in like ten years, whenever that is, man, fifty, whatever, you, you you got a great career ahead of you. Thanks. That was, that's the second second compliment I uh, I got like that. So uh, I'm excited. No, yeah, you, you asked very inquisitive questions, and this is good because most people don't ask those questions because there's a story behind that. When I opened my business, um. Uh, number one, I didn't even know if I ever wanted a gym. I was still searching. I was 25 years old when I blew up my back. And I always wanted to be an NFL athlete. But I knew that when the doctor in France told me my career was over, I went down this journey five years of trying to heal my own back pain without having surgery. I was hooked on Vicodin. I was really searching about how I could like do this without having surgery and find a new purpose in life. Because at the time I was five and competing against Coach Goodale and, and that stuff, I just wanted to be a pro athlete. That's what made me tick. But when that happened, I really had to go deep. And there were some really dark times during that time. My father had passed when I was just 20 years old. And that that rocked my world. And when I was 25, that injury happened. And I was doing a lot of soul searching in my 20s. I didn't know it then. But looking back, it really was kind of like God working through me of like setting me up for what was to come. Because when I opened my business, not knowing I wanted to have a gym, it was like, hey, let me try this and see if it works. I had met this attractive girl in grad school. She was my future wife. I was I didn't go back to grad school until I was 27. And um, when I opened my gym, just shy of being 30 years old, I uh, I opened it up in the first two years. I trained anybody. I'm talking uh, I'm talking anyone. I, I mean, uh obese people, people with, with like everyone that walked in the door, I wanted to help them. I want to help them lose weight. I want to help them get out of pain. Uh, I was doing massage therapy and training, um, but I wasn't training pro athletes. I, I didn't have athletes. But this one day, this gal who was doing Pilates um, comes in. She says, hey, my husband has a bad back. Do you think you could help him? I said, absolutely. I would love to help him. So he comes in and this 6'6", 330 pound man walks through the door. I'm like, who's this? And it was Vaughn Parker. And Vaughn was the left tackle for the San Diego Chargers. So I'm working on Vaughn, and the craziest things happens. 15 minutes into the session, I hear this, like, cracking going on. I'm like, what is this? I thought it was his back. The table was splitting in half. My massage <laughs> table split in half. And the next thing I know, I have this 6 foot six. 6 330 pound man laying on the floor with a massage table split in half. And I'm like, great. My first pro athlete I've ever worked with. And now I, he splits the massage table. He's at that time, a $20 million athlete. And I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> so, so it was my first shot. So I take off my shoes and I'm like, Vaughn, you okay? He's like, yeah. And I remember seeing the whites of his eyes look up at me looking like, what just was that? I take off my shoes. I'm like, listen, I know Thai massage really good. And I start doing Thai massage on him. I didn't know how to do Thai massage. I watched one video, I watched one video on Thai massage. And the next thing I know, I got my foot in his glutes and I'm doing all these things. And he's like, this is great. This is awesome. And I'm like totally like stretching him out. I'm sweating. And he's like, Gee, this is the most amazing work I've ever received. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, he's like, listen, the San Diego Chargers – they need a massage therapist after the games. Would you be interested in coming down? I said, absolutely. He he hooked me up with the athletic trainer for the Chargers. Next thing I know, I'm doing all the post-game massage therapy on Mondays for all the Chargers. And it was during that time I first met Drew Brees. This was 2002. And I met Ladanian. And I met all the, all the Chargers every day. Every Monday, I'm working with these guys. But what happened was the day after the season ended or the, the, day, the week before the season ended, Ladanian comes up to me and says, hey, Todd, I understand you also do something called functional fitness. When the season's over, I'd like to call you and have you help me. I said, I'd be honored. I gave him my phone number. And the day after that season ended, it was his rookie year. He called me up on a Monday and said, I want to get training. I said, do you want to take a few weeks off? He said, no, I want to come in tomorrow. I'm like, holy, she's like, this guy just finished the season yesterday. He's calling me today. He wants to come in tomorrow. And I remember being so nervous. This was the first round pick of the San Diego Chargers. He was the fifth overall pick. And, and LT comes in 
And I remember being like, I wanted to puke going to the gym that day. Like, what am I going to do with this guy? How am I going to help him? And I never, I never forget. I had him take off his shoes and do this balance uh, test. And he was really good on one leg and he was really bad on another leg. And I remember thinking, I said, LT, what way do you like to cut? And I see his eyes closed and I see him kind of like visualize it like that way. I'm like, yeah, you like to go that way. And you just got 30, you just got 32 on that side. And the, the way you don't like to cut when you push off that leg, you got 23. There's an imbalance between your hips and your balance. If I can get that to where you get the equal mobility and stability between these sides, imagine if I'm a coach that knows I don't know which way you're going now. And then you could play like you say you want to be like a scared rabbit and be the best to ever play the game like Walter Payton. And light bulb goes off, and you all know it, and you've seen it too, Anthony. Sky, I know you've seen it many times. The light bulb moment. The light bulb moment when the athlete gets it. That started a nine-year career with LT and I, and obviously he finishes – your jets but just a week later he brought in drew Brees, and i've been training drew for 18 years now because in the athlete world it's all word, word of mouth and um the bottom line it all started with vaughn parker and a split table why because it was coming from the heart i didn't know how to do i didn't know how to do thai massage but i could tell you this all my energy was going into like how am i going to help this guy he's tightening his hip flexors i know if he opens up his hips his back is going to be helped because so much of back pain comes from the hip flexors hip rotators the glutes and the hamstrings so if i could open that up through the sole of my foot then I could help this guy. And he felt great afterwards. I think intentionality is a really important aspect of any coaching, training, massage therapy, body work, leading uh, someone is where's your heart at? How do you pour into something? And to answer your long question, that was a long answer. That's how I got started.